Hello, and welcome to another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. My name's Todd, and today we have a Sound Digital. A Sound Digital Evo 1200.4. Come on, focus for me, camera. So. Yeah, you see how it pulses? I've never figured out why a camera does that. It's like, uh, I should have autofocus set or something. But, I'm sorry guys, it's already repaired. Um, I guess I'll just let you know what I did. I know, I, I, this is a what we call an absolute last second decision to shoot a video. There's a reason why. So, I will get to that in just a second here. So, this had a shorted power supply. And originally I thought it had a shorted output section too on one of the output uh, transistors. But after I removed the board, as you can see these boards are soldered into place, I couldn't find the short. So I thought to myself, maybe I was mistaken on my original diagnosis of this amplifier. But it did have, let me see if I can get down in there. I probably can't, it's kind of buried down in there. It did have a shorted power supply card right down here so originally when i started this amplifier i politely and i'm going to stress this again you know me guys i'm a very polite person i very politely emailed sound digital asking them if even if i signed an nda with them and if for anyone that doesn't know what an NDA is, it's a non-disclosure agreement. Uh, it's it's a it's a binding between me and a manufacturer or a distributor to not release schematics. I have no problem signing an NDA. I live life by the books, so I would never give them out. So I emailed them, and they politely, I don't know if I would say politely, they emailed me back and said more or less that I am not qualified to repair their equipment. Well, Sound Digital, I guarantee you I can do better work than probably some of the people you have hired. So, yeah, I'm not trying to, you know, praise the pedestal i'm not trying to put me on a pedestal or whatever you however you say it but i'm very meticulous with my work i've seen some pretty shoddy work there's no reason whatsoever for manufacturers or companies to not work with independent contractors especially if they're willing to abide by their terms so this amplifier is repaired sound digital thank you very much I got it done. It works. It turns on. Switch is fine. It had one uh, burnt resistor. It looked like one of the channels probably got shorted. Uh, it took out the 4.7 ohm resistor. Probably the snubber, I guess, across that channel. Uh, there was no shorted output transistors. They defaced them all, of course, and that's the reason why I emailed them, because they defaced the output transistors. Now, I guarantee you with enough time, I can figure out what they used. Uh, this is a Brazilian style board. There's a lot of other information out there for us to determine what they used. Uh, so, yeah, that's the backstory to this four channel sound digital amplifier. It's just one of those things where I just grind my teeth and say, okay, guys, you say I'm not qualified. I will just show you the qualification that I have. And I'm not even, I don't even have degrees in this. I just do this for a living. So that's the rundown of the Sound Digital Amplifier, four channel again, with a very interesting correspondence between me and Sound Digital. So 
for anyone that's going to be emailing Sound Digital for information, I would just be prepared for them to tell you no. So thanks for watching, guys. This uh, particular amplifier only has 50 volt rail capacitors in it. You probably won't get much of a punch on it, but I will still stand behind. Keep your fingers out of the rails. Stay safe, guys. We'll see you on the next one.